Hey video creators, today let's learn to create a parallax video inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugins. Then let's get into it. Before everything let me show you what we are going to create. As usual, I am creating a new composition in 1080 by 1920. My photo is vertical that's why I'm using this ratio. Now I am going to import my photo into it. Now let's cut the mask from the photo. I am using roto brush for it. You can mask with the pen tool if you wish. For rotoscoping, double tap on the photo and open it in a new window. Select the roto brush and draw through the mask. Make sure that all portion has been selected and use Refine Edge tool if you are selecting things like hair. Tap and hold the Alt key and draw where you want to remove the selection. Now we can remove the background by tapping this button. It's time to separate the sky from this photo. Duplicate the layer and remove the effect called Roto Brush and Refine Edge. I am trimming the composition into one frame to decrease the system load. Here we have the original photo. Let's call it background. We will use content aware fill for separating the sky from it. So we have to mask those objects to be removed. It does not need to be much better. Now select the mask and change the mask to subtract. Note that you don't need to do this if you use any other background. Go to Content Aware Fill in the right side, you may have to add it by going to Windows. Then change the Content Aware setting like this, or you may try different settings. Then tap Generate Fill Layer. After Effects will ask you to save your file if you haven't saved it. Then the fill will be generated. You may have to wait a little bit to show the render. Now we will save each sky and mask separately as photos. To do it first show only the mask. Then go to export in file then add to render queue. Here change the output to to select the saving folder. Now select the output module, change the format to PNG sequence and the channels to RGB plus alpha, then tap OK. Now render it. Now render the sky like this. Remember you should only hide the mask layer. Now change the composition duration as you wish. I am changing it to 10 seconds. There is no need for these three layers now, so delete it, and import the photos we rendered. Now our main part of the tutorial begins. First of all, change the layers into 3D. Then change the Z-axis position of the background to 4000. Change the scale value until it fit the composition. Create a new camera layer. I am using 50 millimeters. As usual, I am creating an all layer and parenting the camera layer with it.
now animate with the position on the null object, give a keyframe in the first frame, then adding a keyframe in my half of the video, change the z-axis position value to give a zoom effect. You can also try different axes as you wish, also here I am just adding a basic zoom effect, you can try rotational effects. I am copy pasting the first keyframe in the final frame so we will have a zoom out effect too. Select those keyframes and tap F9 to make them easy ease. Here we have created a parallax video. But I am also adding clouds and sun to make the video more beautiful. You can continue watching if you are interested. To create clouds, create a new solid layer with any color. I call it cloud. Add the effect called fractal noise into the layer. Change the brightness and contrast value. I am giving the brightness value of 200 and the contrast value of 10. Go to transform and change the scale value. Now change the layer blending mode to screen. Make the cloud layer below the mask. Mask a small piece from the layer as you wish using the shape tool or pen tool. Change the mask feather value. Change the opacity of the layer as well. I am changing the mask feather value once more to make it more realistic. Also changing the shape of the mask. Now again go to effect settings, add a keyframe for offset turbulence in the first frame. Change the value of offset turbulence by setting the time indicator in the last frame. Tap and hold the ALT key on your keyboard and tap on the evolution stopwatch. Type time 120 in the expression box, it'll make the cloud animation hyper realistic. Take a look at the clouds. Now duplicate the layer and place it in other spaces. Select those layers and make them 3D. As we did before, change the Z-axis position for all the cloud layers. We may give a different value as 3000. Change the scale value too. Do the same to all of those. Now let's create and add the sun to it. For that create a new adjustment layer. I rename it sun. Add an effect called Lens Flare to it. Change the lens type to 105mm prime, it'll be more realistic. Change it to a better location. Move it just above the background layer. Change lens brightness. As before we did, change the layer to 3D and change its Z-axis position. Scale 2. 
Here is the final render. It will be a great motivation for us if you like, share and subscribe. Goodbye, hoping to see more of the same.